Today I wanted to once again discuss a somewhat bizarre phenomenon discovered just a couple of years ago. A phenomenon that involved the most energetic, transient astronomical event visible in optical light, or essentially an explosion that we can actually see with our own eyes, but in this case an explosion that lasted for at least three years or ever since it was discovered. And the event so bizarre and so strange that it basically became known as Scary Barbie, but for reasons I should probably explain first. This was discovered by the famous ZTF or Zwicky Transient Facility, an automated telescope that's able to directly detect various changes in brightness somewhere out there in the night skies. And in this case the word transient refers to the sudden change in brightness somewhere out there. And so basically here it's looking for things like supernova. But on April 13th of 2021 it once again detected something, but this time something very strange. Because this is an automated facility, it usually names things in a very specific but somewhat random way, and so this time this event received a name that you see right here. And because in this case the letters resembled Barbie, and also because it was somewhat unusual and somewhat bizarre, over time it became known as Scary Barbie. And to date it seemed to be one of the most powerful optical events ever discovered. Now not the most powerful explosion, that record belongs to something else we've discussed recently, the gamma ray burst that we've discussed right there, in the description below. But even in this case, the amount of energy emitted was really huge, especially because it's been doing this for practically three years now. But the reason it's actually known as Scary Barbie and not just Barbie is really because of the mystery of its origin. Nobody has any idea what's actually happening here or what created this. Because normally, when we see some kind of an event like this, we expect this to be some kind of a star or some kind of a massive object being shredded by the supermassive black hole. So basically, a TDE, tidal disruption event. But if it's a supermassive black hole, we expect it to be in the middle of a galaxy. Yet despite various observations using some of the most powerful telescopes, pretty much nothing has been discovered in this region so far. There does not seem to be a host galaxy, thus making this a super intriguing and somewhat unusual discovery. A discovery of an explosion, a very powerful explosion, but that seems to be happening right in the middle of empty space. But moreover, unlike other TDEs or other disruption events, here it has not diminished in brightness almost at all, and ever since it started brightening years ago, it sort of remained the same. And so the question was, so okay, what's happening here, what can this possibly be? And is it aliens? It's not aliens. But yeah, the question is really, so what's up here? What is going on and what can possibly create such a powerful explosion? Well, right now, a quasar or any kind of an AGN or active galactic nucleus is pretty much out of the question. It would have been detected a long time ago. As a matter of fact, a lot of similar very powerful emissions have been detected before, such as the one you see right here in a galaxy MS0735.6. This is technically a galactic cluster and it's also producing very bright and very stable optical emissions, but here there is a galaxy in the center and a lot of galaxies around it. And so in that sense this is definitely maybe similar but not the same. Moreover, the spectral line features that can usually tell us about the elemental composition and even the origins of these events seem to be extremely different from a typical TDE. And so basically it looks very different from your traditional supermassive black hole shredding a star. For example, here we don't actually see any neon, any oxygen, or specific types of nitrogen or helium. Something that's expected from certain TDEs and certain active galactic nuclei. And moreover, in 14 months of observations, the spectra did not change at all. And that's also very strange for a typical TDE. Nevertheless, we still have some explanations and some potential new discoveries that you can learn more about in some of the recent studies in the description. For example, when it comes to the missing galaxy, because this is actually pretty far away from us, the redshift of 0.99 or approximately 8 billion light years away from us, it has been suggested that we're just not seeing the galaxy, because it's relatively small in size and also because it's possibly hidden by a lot of dust and would thus be below the detection limit for a lot of modern telescope surveys. So basically here, if the galaxy is enshrouded by a lot of dust, 
he would be somewhat difficult to detect, but could also maybe explain why we're observing so many optical emissions. If there's a powerful black hole in the middle, it would make a lot of gas around it extremely bright in certain frequencies. On top of this, in one of the most recent studies you can find in the description, researchers wanted to discover if more similar events were discovered somewhere else in some of the older data, with their initial search returning 59 events, but only 7 of them ended up being very similar to the scary Barbie, and they now refer to them as ANTS, ambiguous nuclear transients. Or I guess for the lack of better words, strange explosions that basically currently make no sense. And in total, 10 such ants have been discovered to date, representing very bright optical flares that can usually last for 2 or more years, in contrast to a typical tidal disruption event. A typical TD usually only lasts for 100 days. Likewise, in most of these cases, these ants resemble some kind of a very hot object, approximately 10,000 Kelvin in temperature, with very powerful X-ray emissions, essentially resembling some kind of a very hot, very bright star, except that they're not stars and seem to be visible from billions of light years away. But pretty much all of them, except for maybe one, seem to also display an extremely powerful infrared flare, suggesting something really hot around them. And here researchers believe that it's most likely from some kind of a dust echo. Or basically a very large dust cloud around something that seems to illuminate this dust, which then starts to glow in infrared. And in that sense, it basically suggests that it's most likely some kind of a supermassive black hole once again. But possibly supermassive black holes that seem to be located in either bizarre galaxies or possibly in extremely small galaxies with practically no stars with the actual explosion or the brightening event most likely being the result of a very powerful accretion disk around these black holes. But exactly what's causing the accretion don't currently agree. Some still believe that it's possibly just a very strange version of a tidal disruption event. For example, for that scary Barbie, they think it's maybe some kind of a very massive star, approximately 14 solar masses, being shredded by a supermassive black hole that's 170 million solar masses in mass. But because in this case this particular black hole seems to be very massive, yet it doesn't seem to contain any galaxy around it, a lot of this currently makes no sense. While other researchers think it's something else. They actually suggest a really huge gas cloud, possibly thousands of solar masses in mass, interacting with a massive black hole that produces these long-term emissions. Although in this case the inferred mass of the black hole is also once again at least 100 million solar masses, possibly even more massive. And that's just based on the brightness visible from 8 billion light years away. And so once again even this explanation does not really make a lot of sense. If this is a massive black hole, how come we're actually not seeing anything around it? And why does this massive black hole appear so different from any other black hole discovered so far? And so in that sense, there are still obviously a lot of unexplained questions. But I guess the most important discovery coming out of these recent papers is just the fact that the scientists found more. More of these very unusual unexplained transient phenomena that appear as very bright flashes that don't seem to change much for years and seem to be very bright in optical emissions, or basically easily visible with a relatively powerful telescope. As a matter of fact, one of these events is already known to have lasted at least twice as long as Scary Barbie. The event known as ZTF-19 AAMRJAR, I guess arm jar or something. But basically overall this is still a bit of a mystery. A mystery of these unusual very bright optical events that though similar to a typical TDE, seem to be very unique and very peculiar. As a matter of fact, they are so peculiar that there's just not much else to say about them because we don't really know what's going on here. And if you watched that older video from just over a year ago that you can find in the description that describes the discovery of this event, unfortunately I've not actually added much more information here because we haven't learned much about these events since then. And so in that sense this is just going to remain a mystery, like so many other transient events that even now have no explanation. But of the ones that really make no sense, this one is definitely somewhere on top. I mean just the fact that even now nobody has actually found any kind of a galaxy here is definitely very surprising. And so if there is some kind of a black hole here and it's like really massive, it seems to be basically a rogue black hole, just traveling by itself and suddenly interacting with something, maybe a star, maybe a massive gas cloud, which suddenly made this black hole 
extremely easily visible from very far away. But if this is a rogue black hole with hundreds of millions of solar masses in mass, the question is, where did it come from? And so I guess we're just going to leave it at that. It still remains a mystery, there are still not a lot of questions that have been answered, but we now know of 10 such events. And so whether this is a tidal disruption event of some kind of a massive star, or possibly a disruption of some kind of a massive cloud, we're not going to know until future discoveries and future observations. And until then, thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership, or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.